Hello everybody, my name is Sylvain Rachon. I am getting people to expand their human experience using cutting edge technology every week. Now this week is uh, doubly special, I guess. Uh, for one is that I'm going on holidays for the next couple of weeks and uh, last time I did that I was able to record certain things and I may yet do that. Um, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to record something for the next at least next week. So um, I may have a little bit of a week uh, jump or I may be able to actually record something uh, a little bit special. But we'll see about that. Now, uh, the real topic of this video is uh, really exciting to me because it's a, I'm talking about the real first anti-aging treatment uh, probably coming along in the next few years. This is not absolutely confirmed because the, uh, the treatment is going in the next few months into human clinical trials. Okay, so it's been tested on mice fully and you know, the, um, the, the, the scientists are, are looking forward to uh, doing human testing um, to, make, to see if it works. Now, essentially what it is, and uh, I have to kind of <laughs> roll back a little bit. Uh, when I'm talking about anti-aging, I'm not talking about some skin, scre skin cream here, okay? Just, let's just make, make it clear. I'm really talking about a treatment that will prevent the body from uh, suffering some, for, from some aging effects, like actual aging. Because aging is not a disease. Uh, people think it's just a natural thing, and it, it, it is natural in the sense that our, uh, every body suffers from the effects of aging but uh, you know, our body is full of biology and chemicals and dna and what we see we observe as aging like the body getting uh, less efficient uh, having less energy our hair going white uh, the skin getting flabby all this and eventually you know organ failure and, and dying um that's all biological elements that go bad inside the body and we have a whole bunch of diseases that are associated with aging that appear only when people grow older but that's because the body is breaking down over time so uh, these mechanisms that causes aging effects can be treated okay and that's what we're talking about now if we treat many or all of these, the, the reasons why we feel the impacts or the symptoms, let's call them, uh, of aging, uh, they essentially we are not aging anymore. And, and this is fairly complicated. There are seven large grand families of, of things that need to be treated, to re not to reverse, but to, uh, uh, to make sure our body doesn't age anymore, that doesn't get higher case of cancer for example doesn't grow uh, our hair doesn't grow white and things like that and uh, we, we don't suffer from all sorts of uh, like osteoporosis and all this stuff and uh, alzheimer's and dementia uh, i mean it, it, there's mechanisms in the body that actually degrade and go bad and that's why we have that so we're treating those effects now the research we're talking about the first treatment we're talking about is actually going to be uh, I, I believe it's going to be extremely uh, cheap and, uh, and very simple treatment. We probably will be able to take it orally. It's very inexpensive material. It's, it's a substance actually we, uh, we produce in our body, but we don't produce as much as we grow older. And, it, uh, and this substance, as we, uh, as we have less in the body being produced, uh, it, it starts inhibiting our ability to... to um, to uh, correct our DNA that is, you know, constantly getting mutated by different factors, including radiation, food, uh, and just misuse of the body. So uh, when we're very young, we have these wonderful mechanisms in the body that make sure our DNA stays unmutated for the most part and, and keeps working, working properly. And if our DNA works properly, the whole cell actually keeps, uh, keeps happy and, and, and working properly, right? But as the as this substance uh, stops getting produced as much, then the DNA starts having more and more errors inserted into it, and which causes a whole bunch of problems over time. And the older you are, the less repair the DNA uh, DNA has, including mit mitochondrial uh, DNA. So we start suffering from different diseases that are DNA based that you can't really avoid. 
uh, including more instances of cancers. There's more likelihood you're going to get cancer as you grow older, for example, uh, and, and other uh, diseases that are essentially protein uh, production-based or, or, or cell division-based and things like that. Uh, and they they vary because mutations are kind of random. So you, you can suffer from all sorts of uh, uh, of effects due to aging that are essentially untreatable. You can alleviate some of the symptoms, symptoms, but you can't really uh, help them. Now, this treatment, um, based on our studies with mice, uh, would essentially well, actually, what we're doing, we're actually ingesting the missing chemical that we don't produce as much, and so you can stave off and keep the, immu uh, the not the immune system. You can keep these. DNA repair mechanisms healthy and going uh, strong, so that you know a lot of these uh, these gen genetic mutations and uh, and misbehaviors don't occur, uh, or or not as much uh, as a normal aging person does. So your body remains younger over time. Now this is not the only treatment. Like I said, there is a variety, and this is just a first step. A first treatment, perhaps in a few years. We're talking probably two to five years before we see it, assuming the human clinical trials trials work out. Humans and mice are different, um, but it's uh, there's more research, and th and after that there's going to be there's more research. There's more research. Incrementally, we'll have more and more treatments that deal with any one of those seven. Uh, problems uh, surrounding aging and uh, potentially of course we get really good at providing really refined treatments for aging and uh, and we live 150 200 250 400 years right uh, so that's really positive news for those of us who do want to live forever uh, so so that's pretty cool right um, if you want to have a little bit more information, I do have. Uh, I did write a blog. There's a little bit more details and some links. I, I did post uh, most of the links that I, uh, I use in the blog in the description below. If you want to check that out further, I do have my eye on longevity quite a bit, and I did interview some uh, some people for my book on um, uh, on longevity that are working on that. So I'm I, I will report back on this topic as I get new fresh information that uh, is worth sharing with you guys but um yeah please uh support this initi initiative of anti-aging i think everybody uh could at the very least uh, live a few more years and uh, certainly people can do without a lot of the problems associated with aging uh and uh that would be really really great okay so that's going to be it for today hope you liked it if you liked it, well, please like the video and please subscribe, subscribe to my channel for more updates on this topic and others over the next few weeks. Ciao for now.